Okay, in this video, I'm going to review and go over this Home Depot Husky uh, black rolling toolbox. It has a lock, and I actually do a lot of work in New York City, and I tote my tools sometimes around on the train, so I wanted to get something that was tough, portable, not crazy pack-out kit. So I saw this, 79 bucks. I got it in the living room right now, so we're going to go take a look at it. Now, as you see, the dimensions is about 14 inches high, 23 inches, almost two feet wide. And here's something that caught me off guard, 37 and a half inches long. And uh, so anyway, let's go in the living room and take a look at this. And so, okay, so there it is. And as you see, it's a pretty big mom in it. There's my little travel case that I usually use to take on a plane for my clothes and toiletries, but I, it also doubles as a tool case. When I'm in a hurry, I just want to jump on a sub subway. I don't want to take my car. So I figured, let me order the Husky. So here it is. And it is one big mama. I'm not too sure if I'm going to keep it because it's a little overkill. So let me put this uh, tripod down and we're going to open it up, go over it quickly. Um, so. First of all, it's, um, I think it's about 20, where is it here? It's a handle. And it's about 20, 25 pounds. So it's got some heft right in the beginning. Um, it's got a handle that slides out, but it doesn't stay in place. It doesn't lock in any position, it just slides out. All right, and then let's open this baby. It's got nice strong clamps. Keyed lock here, all right. And then uh, the lid stays open when it's partial, which is nice. And there's the keys for the lock stuck there. And you got a lot of room inside, for sure. And I'll just throw in um, a couple of tools so you get an idea. I don't know how much I would load it if I decide to keep it, because I'm four flights up. I'm on the fourth floor and I have to bring this upstairs if I'm leaving from my apartment. So here's a few things. I'll throw in a battery for good measure. Here's a charger. All right, maybe I'd want to throw in one of my smaller tool bags. Right now I'm doing a kitchen renovation, so that's why there's so many tools up here in my apartment. Okay. So that just gives you an idea of what everything looks like. Now, as of course, as you lift it up, everything's going to move down to the bottom end of it. Now, quickly, I also noted this nice squishy seal. So when you do close it, it um, has a decent waterproof seal. I think it's IP65 for dust, moisture, and water. And then it has um, a couple of cutouts here. If you want to cut two by four or pipe, it has a little V ridge there. And um, I think it has a knockout also for power cord. If you want to keep the lids closed, but you have stuff charging in the meantime, and there's the cutout right here, two cutouts if you want to put a cord through it, a power cord, and leave something electric in there. And so that's about it. I'm not too sure if I'm going to keep it. Uh, the reviews online are pretty good, but look, compared to my little travel case, right? Big difference. It's about twice the size. Uh, let me get a piece of wood and just show you how a 2x4 fits in the top. Now, I'm probably going to go for a rigid pack-out system instead. Anyway, so there's the 2x4. It'll fit there, so it'll hold it in place if you're making quick cuts. So it's a nice temporary workbench. So there you go, 79 bucks plus tax. Brought it to around $100. They had same day delivery. I got this within like two or three hours, believe it or not, and I'm here in Brooklyn. So there you go. If this uh, video was helpful for you, appreciate it. Give it a thumbs up, subscribe. I got a lot of other cool videos. Thanks for watching.